Hello, everybody. How are you today? Today, I want to show you how to connect your vintage keyboard. For example, today is Juno 2 from Roland with the wireless MIDI interface. So, I have a wireless MIDI interface that's the Quincy Go. This is a Japanese made uh, wireless PD. You see this? Made in Japan. And this device does not require any extra battery or any, any power. You, when you just plug into your, your keyboard, your classic keyboard, this will power this device. So you don't need to do any air, connect to any power source. Okay? So first of all, you connect the MIDI out See? It's already power And MIDI in to this That's the first step you need to create Second thing you have to set your MIDI configuration from your keyboard. Okay, go to the MIDI. Currently, I'm set channel one. The next thing you just press MIDI again. MIDI off, knee off. So that means if you want to send multi channel, that's okay. But right now, this case, we don't need it. The third one, MIDI logo on where you want to hear your keyboard sound you have to turn it on turn on and off you just turn the dial back and forth and it will change the value okay press again with the after on bend it on this is most important you have to turn on the midi exclusive on in order to receive data from your keyboard to the external device, okay? This one optional, you want on and off, doesn't matter. If you want to use a uh, sustain pedal with the MIDI device, MIDI modulation on, yes. Program on, this one you must turn it on. Programs uh, communications, you must to turn this on. And that's it. The next step, with your iPad, currently I'm using this, uh, my iPad mini 4, so it's it's very old device, but it's good. So turn it on. First of all, you have to check the setting. Your Bluetooth must be on, okay? You have to turn on your Bluetooth. That's the first step. Second step, you turn on, you have to install the, the app GarageBand or Gadget. This is free app from Apple Store because this app can talk to the MIDI device. So turn the garage on. Go to setting. Advanced, you see, Bluetooth MIDI devices, not connect, tap it to connect, see, now your iPad communicate with your Roland. Now you can use the programmer with this iPad. So, Right now, I'm using the IPG 800, this app. This app is uh, very good, but you have to pay five, do five US dollars to get it. But it's, it's worth to spend it. Tap it. So this is your programmer. So currently, I'm using the default uh, polysynth sound.
can change the frequency. So this is the good way to program your part is very easy so you just uh, turn on your oscillator to change something out turn on your sub Even you can switch your patch directly from this program. I can switch to this one, I can change to new patch. See? You can see the, the program changed here. If I switch to 4, you see? Program change. So that's it, how you can uh, connect your vintage synthesizer to the modern wireless device such as iPad or you can connect to the iPhone if you have an editor with iPhone too so this, uh, the option is the many many options for you okay hope you learned something today cheer if you like this video and uh, if you want to see something about uh, this synthesizer just let me know in the comment I will create some new patch for this synthesizer for you. Okay? Bye bye.